so welcome to highlining i'm a cry huh? it's fine Don't it's fine even i feel like i <laughs> some people call us crazy maybe we are but one thing is for sure this is a lot of fun Everyone feels fear. It's also like how you channel that fear, what you do with it. So highlining is an adventure sport that's still quite young in India and Duke's nose one of the most prominent landmarks in Lonavla has become a hot spot for the sport I've been hiking up here every few weeks to try to understand what the sport is all about and why it's becoming so popular across the country group of very diverse very passionate people coming together to uh, to create a wiggly bridge across two cliffs and uh, i don't know it's just so silly when you talk to people about it but you have to just try to really understand Why did you decide to come today? What was your like motivation? I'm asking myself the same question. <laughs> I really I really want to do this. but as i got here things got too real and higher than i expected this is shruti jha's first time going out on a high line which is a 1 inch wide rope strung across two mountain ledges shruti i'm same skill level i'm telling you go oh, no i'm not I'm just scared. I'm It's scared. fine. You will be scared tomorrow also yeah. if you go yeah. here. So you just have to push through it. So just go. Sure. Oh, I'm going to cry. Okay. Huh? It's fine. Don't It's fine. Even I feel like crying. <laughs> What is wrong? Enjoy. Have fun, <laughs> Shruti. Remember to just have fun, okay? Aale, And breathe. You will be good. Okay. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, I can't. You want to just come here and sit here? Just sit with me. Come. you are connected to something at all mm-hmm. all times okay so there's no chance that you will roll off just sit here come you're doing so well you're doing so well so done okay breathe breathe you got this yes it yeah i can't can i wait for a yeah yeah you can take all the time you need no rush you no you no pressure to do anything but i'm wasting everyone's time you're not this is the whole point of the gathering the whole point is that we have all the time there's no line line doesn't care shivani you go i don't i think i right now i got that don't okay okay no worries chill 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 i'm really sorry don't apologize you're allowed to be scared it's absolutely valid response for this situation that you're in that we threw you in the middle no, of no i've come here to no, do no, this only no, no. it's quite scary for someone to watch as well as to do it because when you're doing it you're in the middle of nowhere and it's your primal instinct is uh, just trying to fight you because it's not able to make sense why you are hanging in the middle of nowhere high above the ground so it's an interesting mix of perceived risk versus actual risk and uh, you can trick your mind into uh, thinking it's a higher risk than it is and that's what makes it so much fun If done properly, highlining isn't actually as dangerous as it looks. The athletes secure themselves with multiple ropes and harnesses. But much like other adventure sports, it's not for the faint of heart. This is 
our main line so we're going to walk on this so this is going to be under tension and our second line is going to be underneath it loose and in the case of a main line failure yes the second line is going to catch us one more i find crossing a road in bombay much more terrifying than highlining like truly like i feel like this is much safer because everything is thought out uh, obviously when things go bad they go horribly wrong but you can take certain steps to ensure that things don't go horribly wrong there are no courses to teach you it's all like come everyone's learn from each other from the lot from the internet so you guys are like you want to put it on this mountain ledge and the entire setup is basically on your own knowledge you have to basically trust that's the biggest like kick yeah that's the biggest kick that you can uh, trust your life on your knowledge so that i mean what can give you more self confidence i'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it yeah. you trust yourself so much that uh, you're willing to uh, uh, put your money where your mouth is put your life where your knowledge is Ria Anthony is part of a growing number of young people who are seeking a life outside the city bustle. She quit her job in 2021 and started freelancing so she'd have the flexibility to live and work from a small village in Lonavala at the base of Duke's Nose. For almost 6 months, she spent nearly every weekend camping and highlining on this mountain top. You know, made to believe that you need to have a job, you need to, you know, like life is basically you work and then then you enjoy ha huh. but it's not like a balance both. right huh. you can't do both and which is really like to me like now it's like stupid like ha huh, you don't really have to wait yeah and it's it's no, again it's, it's balancing basic conditioning yeah okay let's do this फोर्टीन ल फर्स्ट हाईलाइन रेक जा मी इतने वॉक के लिए होती ड्यूक्सला लाइन मे बी ती पैली हाईलाइन होती इंडिया एंड देन मग बरे हाईलाइन ये लगले Although the sport was introduced a decade ago, there's been limited access to gear and formal training. So experienced Thailanders have been growing the community by teaching newcomers themselves. And it's drawn quite a diverse crowd. On the mountain, I met an arborist, a pilot, an actor, and a neuroscientist, to name a few. It might not be the opposite, but uh, my day job or <laughs> professionally i'm an actor right so where i am it's a job of extreme luxury <laughs> like i have people taking care of me when i'm working on the hill it's completely different it's beautiful the pointlessness of it is uh, i think the freeing aspect of it ki iska koi purpose hai hi nahi इसका पर्पस एक सोल पर्पस है कि आपको खुशी मिल रही है करके क्या एंड आई लव दैट Highlining is still a male-dominated sport, so Ria organized one of India's first all-female highline gatherings to give more women an opportunity to get involved. There are more guys than girls, you know, while around the highlines or sessioning or camping around, and there are some odd like 15-ish girls up there. Like it's it's super nice. They're camping here for a week now. and then they're sessioning every day it's nice to see them <laughs> this has started a lot of conversations i think even among the guys and then they're suddenly watching their own behavior they're like okay this is a women safe space so maybe i shouldn't be speaking as much as i usually do but it's not about um changing anyone's behavior or opinion it's just about starting conversations and just adding little question marks Over the course of the women's weekend, Sriti made it out onto the line. Oh, 
highlining on a mountaintop isn't the entry point to the sport. For most people, it begins with a slackline between two trees. Sriti has been practicing at this park for nearly a year. This is what I started learning on, like a two inch line, and then went on to that one inch line and I never came back. So today this is, like this is a very short line for me. Oh my God, Sanjil is here. He is like the stars, high liner, slack liner of Juhu. When I came to the park, he was the first one who was training me. Him, Mohit and Vinod. So mainly I learned from them. And they never gave up. People who met me five minutes ago, they don't know my name, have told me, because of course, you have to do it. That is what I'm saying. It's a very facilitating communi community for growth. After two more months of practice, Sriti decided she was ready to attempt the infamous highlight named LOC once again. It's an ordeal for me. I must really like highlining to put myself through this kind of fear. Oh. Because I really want to get over it. I can't be like this all my life, Aniti. I have to be. And I know I've done this like so many times now. Oh, I'm so scared. We have um, Sriti Jha getting on the line now. She's been waiting a while to get on the line. Last time she was here, it was quite a journey for her. I think she's grown through that journey and now she's back. And I think it's going to be a whole other, like, Effort, I think. Yeah, the willingness of going on the line is growth for me. Keep breathing, focus on the breath. Yes, push, kick down, come on. Come on. Yes. Keep going, push, kick the leg down. Keep going, kick the leg down, kick the leg down. Come on! <laughs> You're laughing, dude. <laughs> this time, Sriti wasn't able to sit on top of the line, a move known as mantling, but she continued to push herself to face her fears all weekend. Honestly, I was saying that I was very happy that I overcame fear, but I was really disappointed that I couldn't do the mantle, but I'm hoping I'll be able to go to something more today. Let's see. We are making awesome. Like everyone feels fear. It's also like how you channel that fear, what you do with it. It's just that you tell yourself something, whatever it may be that convinces you to continue to do what you're doing. You were saying that you're gonna just, you wanna just keep... Trying till I get over. And probably try mantle a lot more on the ground than I'm doing right now. I think I need to practice that. <laughs> it's but I, I'm not quitting. Yeah. I'm not quitting. I'm going to shamelessly keep trying.
we are all doing it for us as a sport and it's not just an experience we're all pushing ourselves mentally physically uh, and if and much even like Sriti she's not necessarily she's not standing yet but she's invested in the sport she's spending on equipment she's showing up uh, and she's contributing so it doesn't matter if you are not good at it it just matters how how enthusiastic you are After a decade of obscurity, highlining is finally taking off in India. The sport has appeared on television, festivals are being held, and new adventure seekers are joining the crew every day. Before that, there were just 30 to 40 highliners maybe in full India. And now there are maybe uh, 50, 60 just in Mumbai and Pune. <laughs> because every weekend people have been sessioning here at Duke's Nose and Many people show up. It's every weekend there's uh, it's first time for at least two three guys. So future is very wide in India because India has like Sahyadri and Himalaya, these two mountains range, and बहुत सारा potential है इन दोनों range में. तो अभी India बस highliner grow कर रहे, playground तो बहुत है. I think it's given my life a new direction. And I don't know what my life will be like because I do this now. I don't know how long I'll do this for. But I like it. I really like it. Shabazz Kalandar